this session i would like to explain the resolution of forces in space in the earlier session we have seen the resolution of force in plane that means whenever we consider a force in plane that means that means along two axes x y axis so this is force f which is making an angle theta so there we have learned how to resolve a force into two components along x direction and along y direction uh, for 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 reference you can uh, refer the earlier video so this is going to be f cos theta this is going to be f sin theta always the side which is neither to the angle that will be that force component will be having the multiples of force in terms of cos theta here it will be multiples of force in terms of sin theta so now we will see resolution of forces in space for that i am considering a force here making an angle theta with x axis so when i consider theta as the reference angle then its component the x component is going to be f cos theta Suppose if I consider the angle as theta x, then its x component is going to be f cos theta x. Let us consider theta x is the angle of inclination with x axis for the force f, and let theta y be the angle of inclination of force f with y axis. Let us consider z axis like this. Let theta z be the angle of inclination of force f with z axis. So now resolving this force into three components along x y z directions, I can write force along x direction is nothing but f cos theta x. Depending upon the reference angle theta x, I can resolve the force f along x direction. F x is equal to f cos theta x, where f x is uh, the magnitude of force f along x direction, and magnitude of force along y direction is given by. Here I am considering the reference angle as theta y. So theta y is the inclination of force f with y axis. So then I can resolve force f uh, based upon the reference angle as f cos theta y. And similarly, f z is f cos theta z. So f x, f y, f z are the magnitudes of force uh, f along x y z directions. Uh, With, by considering these magnitudes, I can express this one in the form of a vector as f bar is equal to f x i bar plus f y j bar plus f z k bar. So this is the expression of a force in the form of a vector. Suppose if I want to find the magnitude, so modulus of f is equal to square root of f x square plus f y square. Plus f z square. So here I want to derive a relation between direction cosines. For that, uh, I am squaring this equation on both sides. So f square is equal to squaring on both sides f x square plus f y square plus f z square. F square is equal to. So instead of x f x, I can substitute f cos theta x. Instead of f y, I can substitute f cos theta y. And similarly, instead of f z, I can substitute f cos theta z. So here, f cos theta x whole square plus f cos theta y whole square plus f cos theta z whole square. So taking f square common on the right hand side. F square is equal to f square common cos square theta x plus cos square theta y plus cos square theta z. So I'm writing on left hand side. So f square f square gets cancelled. So then cos square theta x plus cos square theta y. Plus cos square theta z equal to one. So this is the relation between direction cosines. Cos theta x is the direction cosine along x axis. Cos theta y is the direction cosine along y axis. Similarly, cos theta z. If I want to find the directions theta x, theta y, theta z, so there I can use the earlier relation. So here I have given one relation. F x is equal to f cos theta x. From that, cos theta x is equal to f x by f. From that, I can find theta x value. Theta x is equal to cos inverse f x by f. Similarly, theta y is equal to cos inverse f y by f. 
एंड थीटा जेड इज इक्वल टू कॉस इनवर्स एफ जेड बाई सो दिस इज द रिजर्वेशन ऑफ फोर्स इन स्पेस सो आई कैन रिजोल्व द फोर्स इन स्पेस अलॉन्ग थ्री डायरेक्शन x direction y direction and z direction so fx is the magnitude of force along x direction fy is the magnitude of force along y direction and fz is the magnitude of force along z direction there i can express that force in the form of vector as f bar is equal to fx i bar plus fy j bar plus fz k bar so i can find the magnitude by using this relation uh, by squaring it on both sides uh, that will lead to the relation Between direction cosines, which is nothing but cos square theta x plus cos square theta y plus cos square theta z equal to one. If I want to find the directions along x y z axis, so there I can derive it from the basic relations. Theta x is equal to cos inverse f x by f. Theta y is equal to cos inverse f by f. And similarly, theta z equal to cos inverse f z by f. So if you want to solve uh, small uh, problems, uh, that is four marks problems or two marks problems in Timshenko textbook, so you can uh, use these relations. Uh, these relations will be useful in solving those problems. Uh, thank you for watching. For more videos, uh, further updates, please do subscribe channel. Thank you all.